Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. It's Monday, May 24th, the Memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church. I am Mary Beth Dumas. Once again, I'm so happy to be with you today to share prayer. Our readings today are taken from the book of Genesis and the Gospel of John. Let us now begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God of all consolation, who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After Adam, Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to him and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's responsorial psalm. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves. The gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. And of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now since it was preparation day, 
in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath. For the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one. The Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side and immediately blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We'll just take a few moments now in reflection of our readings today. Let us now bring our cares and concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer for our call to stewardship that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for an end to this pandemic that God will continue to guide and inspire all who work to end the virus and give our leaders the wisdom to make the right decisions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in any way burdened in these difficult times, that the sick, the unemployed, the lonely, and the frontline and essential workers may continue to find peace and comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing in their lives, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words that our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And let us pray. God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of your Son and the road to redemption paved by his sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful Monday, a peaceful week, and I'll see you back next Monday for prayer.